Welcome back in Bidet Critters. We got another episode, the third episode of the day, third week of Vox Machina being back, season two. Uh, this one's called a Test of Pride. It looks like for sure a test. I don't know who it's going to ba be based around. I'm thinking Grog since we're going back to his place, his stomping grounds, but it's going to test my pride a little bit too. I feel like going through this, at least compared to going through season one, I had at least an idea of what was going down. But with this season, I feel like the, the level of mystery, they rolled a 20 and <laughs> I'm just completely lost. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. There's so much going on uh, that it's hard to pinpoint one thing. Uh, hopefully some things get revealed in this episode because we only got three after this, but I'm excited for what we are about to get the main, th not the main thing. There's, there's like, I can't even, I, I lost track to be honest. We got like 10 different storylines in the one that we're focusing on now this episode i think is grog um him getting his strength back finding his real power i need i don't know if we'll get it but i need to see more groon i want groon i want groon uh i, I feel bad because i love the rest of the group but we only got a little taste of groon and i want a little bit more uh oh if we get all of them in a badass battle against these dragons in the finale i wouldn't be mad at that either but i do want to see them peek in every now and then and say hey like the characters from sesame street <laughs> uh that's just me being greedy though so let's get straight back into this we got garmelli i don't think we'll see maybe he'll be in that group too uh vex kind of coming to terms with uh her father she she admitted a little bit exactly uh the way he is i know she's done that in the past but it, she seems to be coming around uh and maybe it was a, a sense of her gaining more confidence that she, she won't be seeking that approval from him as much as she has been in the past uh percy and vex have this little thing a little blush going on that i like uh pike and scanlon got this little thing that i like going on uh who else we got grog who you got grog 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 got a sword but that, that shit gone now uh and then I think that's it for now. Ke Keyleth and uh, Vax got the little thing going on that I like. So hopefully we keep that going. We're going to keep the vibe going. Uh, episode 9. Let's do it. Let's test that pride, baby. Ooh, muscles. Who is this? We got another elven character. Green eyes. Is this present day or a flashback? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the gauntlet. Oh my goodness. The episode just started. Okay, but I think this is an uncle. Oh my. Oh my God. Axe in the back of the head. These people are saying that they ain't nothing like Grog. How is he going to stand up to him, though? You picked the perfect topic. Did you see the eyeball pop? Oh, these people ain't shit. Why? Why are all the? Why are all of Vox Machina's family's pieces of shit except for Pikes? <laughs> we haven't seen Scandal yet. Oh my goodness, the accuracy! I am with three arrows in his back. Look at him. Fine work, boy. Boy. <laughs> crowd. Take what you want, and teach him to fear the name. Oh, this is a flat. Oh my god, he was in on this too. Girl, girl, he was skinny there, but he, he was in here killing people. Oh my god, Grog Gra was savage. I do kind of like that we don't know present day from, from past, though. It keeps us on our toes as the viewer. You sure this was the place you saw in that vision? 100%. I've played dozens of gigs in Western. Lousy tippers, but they really appreciate the classics. Oh, my big closer was always when the bald man cried. <laughs> Scanlon, focus. Oh, right. A song about masturbation. Okay. Hey, these people could use our help. Uh -oh. Let me go. <laughs> Don't kill. Don't kill. All well, my small friend, if you ain't got nothing for the offering that makes you worthless, don't it? Yes, yes. yes. Damn. Don't throw the axe at him. Thank you. Don't throw the axe at him. Oh, oh it was <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Don't. What? There's only two. We can take them There's easy. Not fair with the herd. They ain't huh. easy. <laughs> Jesus. Guess his luck didn't turn around. <laughs> it's bad to say I like Hell it, but it's good for the show. 
Exactly how many herd okay, members so we talking about? so you don't need here? the crystals to power it oh, up. No one really kept a list. Oh, I did heard someone say hundreds yeah, I before. did heard, he said. <laughs> um, is that a lot? Okay, so if we want those bad boys, we gotta fight through a bunch of regular size grogs, then somehow rip them off jumbo grogs arms. I'm not sure I want to hurt seeing me like oh, this, right? I mean, maybe we should just wait for our friend. looks friends. like he's hmm? gaining strength a little bit, though. Ah, right. A little what by little. do we do with you? But come on, you can still hold an axe, can't you? Not his axe. Wouldn't count on it. <laughs> At least you can stand up on your own now. If Scanlan the Revolutionary is not back within the hour, promise you'll try to love mm. again. I will do my best. Ahem. <clears throat> Nevosh Nevon Clue. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Little dragon, he still got the hat on. <laughs> Please don't get smushed. When I was with the herd, I did yep, things. I already saw real bad. I love things. that we saw before he's actually revealing it's a pipe. I don't think you would have liked me too much. Damn. Damn. He's a lot quicker though. He's swift. Maybe the small size will be good for him. Thing I wanted without a second thought. <laughs> Nothing and no one could stop nice. me. Oh, they were boys, huh? Until the day I met him. Oh, oh. oh he almost killed him. No! Take whatever you want! Please! Not Papa! Spare me. I, I have a family! Mm -hmm. Wait. Who was it? That wasn't Pike, was it? I think that was someone else. Like his son or something. Look, like whoever it was had brown hair. I just noticed the scarf. It looked similar. Oof, that dragon really cocked <laughs> this place. No sign of Umbersil, though. Bro, you are too low to the ground. What say you, Sanro? What you gonna do? I say, someone needs to stand up to my father and take this herd back. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck, Taylor? Turn into a mouse or something. <laughs> You're so small. Just a rat. Oh, loud ass rat. Y'all in New York. Whew. Ooh, another bar. Occupado? Are you one of them? Yeah, they look exactly like them. I'm about four feet too short to be one of them. Who are you people? It's about 200 pounds Just too, right? Just Farmers. Oh, look at the kitties. I'm sort of an adventurer, rebel leader. Musician, some would say philosopher, named Scanlan. Hmm. As in Scanlan Shorthalt? How you know? Y'all aren't family, are you? I thought he found another one to love. Hey, hey, don't let my father catch you getting soft with these bugs. Hmm. He does love killing the geysers. Says he's doing them a favor. Damn. Come on, Zedron. How'd he talk about it? Oh, oh, he actually bought him. Oh, knocked him out. Too. Oh, Jeez. oh, that was a sudden change. I wonder if we get all this in the campaign. Too. You have to, right? This is like an important moment for him. Thank you. I love boy. the double I hope I can repay your kindness someday. Stronger! Oh, I love that he calls him the big boy. Bring me that gnome's head, or I will take yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Nice. Then, or you ain't shit. Oh my god, lightning! Lightning! <laughs> you both disgrace us with your weakness. And that's not a wolf on the shoulder, it's a damn bear. He probably killed it himself. You have no spine like your father before you. <laughs> As in your. Ooh, your brother, you mean? I want to see the brother. He didn't even flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Bitchy, you do it without the gauntlet. You'll never be half the warrior I am. Oh Grog Strongjaw, you are hereby banished from the herd of storms. Strongjaw, huh? <laughs> it's still intact, so it's indeed strong. I should have died that day. Hmm. Just brought him to the brink of death. Pop up. Oh my god, look at his Quickly. arm. It's Try to heal completely him. Completely rotated. 
Oh, okay, so he's a. Never lied to oh, that is Pike. She just got Please. black hair. What? Thank you for saving my grandfather. What you did was very brave. Right? That is her, right? Different color hair, but she's got the same voice. That sounds like Ashley. Why is he here? Is he following us? Remember, so he's Wait. coming for that damn gold. So you're saying you've, uh... <laughs> That's the only thing Indeed, he cares about. I have. Actually, Kaylee here is part of my band. <laughs> Dr. Drenzel's traveling troop. <laughs> we got a whole band now. The herd's been going door to door demanding allegiance and gold. Anyone who comes up short is slaughtered. Look how poor this town is. They ain't got no damn gold. Is working with them. You need to get us out of here immediately. What? Get yourself out of here. Your friends aren't here. You are. <laughs> One thing I learned in this life. Being a little aggressive. No one comes back to save you. So, Scanlan Shortholt. <laughs> what are you prepared to do? Okay, that dragon could be a little bit of a distraction, I guess. Wait, did, is it different? Did it always have the blue on its huh? Show yourself, Cave Dak. Your tithe is due. I love the design of him. Miss Carver. Oh, the best is get it back, Scan. Is it just me, or do these offerings keep getting small? That's a whole lot of damn gold. You waste my time with scraps when you wear what I covered. Mm. Our deal stands. Oh, so there's two gods. Mm. I am displeased. <laughs> damn. Oh my! Oh, so he... It'll kill. I return in three days' time, Kevdak. If you do not bring me Thordak's gold, I take your arms as payment. <laughs> then he really ain't gonna be able to bring you any gold. We should be hunting these dragons, teaching them to fear us. Instead, your weakness has us groveling like... I tire of your whining. Damn. Damn. Oh, you don't want to do that. Oh my god, I was just about to say, same fate as Grog. Those vestiges often. Oh my goodness. Unless somebody cut them on them. Any of you lot agree with my son? No, Thunderlord. Thunder. I rule this herd. Actually, the uh, Umbrasil rules this herd. We'll sneak in. Get our boy. You're sneak still out. Big, though, I oh, you you're sneak. almost not exactly the quietest. And he'll spot me a mile away. You're one of them, though, can he? Then we better go in with a mighty fine offering. I wonder if he could pretend like he's someone oh, else. Put on a shoes. helmet or something. Uh, yep, this gnome turd Big stole blood. from Kevdak. Nice. <laughs> Had to run her down myself. Do I know you, Slim? Slim. Oh, you better. <laughs> I'm Kevdak's kin, and he don't like waiting, mustache. Nice. Wait a silly. <laughs> Shut up. Nice plan, Shut Mikey. Up. Hey, what's with calling me a turd? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that was like, you know, acting. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You did great, buddies. Come on. What the, what the hell is that little centipede? Stay oh, just a distraction, nice. Damn, you see that big ass shadow above you? <laughs> <laughs> it worked though. I'm just getting warmed up. Girl, nice. Oh, I didn't even look around to see if anybody had beards. I don't. I haven't noticed one yet, other than Grog's. I'm surprised the guard didn't recognize it. Wonderful. Suppose you couldn't have found a beard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, don't mind her, buddy. She's just freaked out that your uncle's herd has teamed up with a dragon. <laughs> I just want to see That's his belt slide down to his feet. <laughs> he is super skinny. They're afraid of me. Afraid of my kind. And that's not going to change unless someone takes down the herd. Mm. Unless I take down Kevdak. Your belt looks like it's wearing you. Buddies, we got to stick together. Not this time. I have to do this on my own. Mm, 
I went to town, girl. Croc, what you gonna do? Listen you to me. No, you're not. This is suicide. I say to you, all are free to go. This dude is savage for no damn reason. Who gonna catch him? Um, nobody. Okay. <laughs> if anyone here thinks they are fit to lead better than I, step forward. Grog, where you at? Now. Grog. Oh, we're getting a one on one challenge. Are there none who would. Come on, Grog. I thought not. Nice. Nice. Listen to that music kicking in. Show off your new beer, baby. <laughs> Remember me. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't cut it off there. That is that is torture. That is torture. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch these credits. Oh my god, we'll be back in a second to discuss the episode. Okay, we're back. The, the damn Amazon Prime Critical Role. Y'all just as savage as Kev Dak. They, they, they did that on purpose. I, I see what you did there. The cutting off the episode like that right, right when they were about to get into battle. Leading up to that and on the third episode of the day. So they know we got to wait a week to watch the next batch. That's savage. I, I can't imagine how, how hard this would be if it was like one episode a week. And there's no way they could do. Hopefully, they don't change that uh, style of releasing these episodes, especially since they're only like 25 minute episodes. But another great episode uh, started off with a bang. I love this. This was I can't say the one I was waiting for, but one I was extremely excited for uh, to see Grog's people. And I've given this show this season a lot of credit for. Uh, given everybody their shine throughout the season. So I feel like we've gotten a, a good amount, excuse me, maybe not so much from Percy because he had his shine in season one, but we've gotten a little bit from Percy still. We've gotten a little bit of development on Scanlan, not as much. I feel like there's more coming for him in these latter episodes, um, but we've got enough. I feel like uh, Keyleth, she's gotten a lot again with the Ashari. We saw her mother. That was great going back to that episode. Uh, with Vex and Vax, it's been great for them too. They've been kind of the stars of the show. I'd say Vex and Vax, they carry the plot line of this series. Uh, so they've gotten the most. Uh, but I feel even Pike has gotten a good amount too. But I feel like Grog would have to be, if I gave, um, Vax and Vex 1A and 1B, Grog would be number three for me. Um, with the sword, that plot line, him finding his strength, meeting Groon. Can't wait to see him again. Uh, having his little, his brief encounter with the Sphinx and uh, him calling him out on, uh, he doesn't know his real power. And now with his whole family, his whole herd, Kevdak, uh, what's, what's his uh, cousin's name? Or uh, it starts with a Z, Zoran or... Hold on, let's see. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I, he has a cool name uh, right here. Zanroar. Oh, who, who's this voice acting him? A, a, Bubba, a Bubba Car. I, I know I'm butchering that. Salim. A Bukar. A Bubakar. Salim. Something like that. Um, But he did a great job. I like... Uh, if he wasn't evil as shit, uh, Zanroar, I guess this is kind of like Grog. He's, he's not far removed from what Grog was. Grog only happened to run into somebody that changed his whole outlook on life. Pop pop. Um, but I do like his character. I like this herd. The, the beginning of the episode started off crazy. Uh, I thought it was just initially I was like this must, the way it's coming or they're opening the scene. It's got to be a flashback. And then I questioned whether it was like present day uh, and we were just going to run into him here. Um, the, the, the editing, the direction of these episodes, I really do enjoy, uh, the way it keeps you on your toy toes, but, um, seeing them being savage and killing people, I was like, this has to be past, not present, um, or either past or present, not when Grog was, that never crossed my mind until I actually saw him. And then when I saw him like in a similar form to what he is now, only because he was a, I don't know how old he was, teenager, I'm going to say. Um, but that was awesome. The way they revealed that, 
and completely off guard. That was I, I love that they did a great job with that. So bravo, Critical Role, and uh, I, I give a little props to Amazon. Um, but really cool to see how savage their group is. I kind of already knew based off Kev Day. He he's the leader of the whole thing. So you you only expect him to follow suit. Now I I, he, I say he he was the leader. He, he's really following the lead of these dragons now. He's got no option. Uh, but I hate that he's he's kind of still establishing his dominant dominance over his people because he can. Um, I, I'm just glad Grog is stepping in to help. And if, I don't know what to think of Ripley with Umbrasil. Now, Umbrasil is doing a, we've seen a lot from him. The other dragons, not so much. Um, Umbrasil is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of the groundwork. And Thordex just kind of off doing his own thing, um, expecting them to bring gold back to him. I, and and Umbrasil is going after these vestiges, too. I wonder if he could uh, somehow overtake or kill Thordak. If he decided to uprise against him after he collects, maybe he just needs one vestige. Maybe he needs all of them. Um, but I feel like it, it, that sword grows. Um if he could do anything to damage that diamond or crest in Thordak's chest. Um, so something to think about, but Ripley, I still don't understand her end game yet, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing how that reveals. We didn't get too many callbacks to characters from other episodes uh, like Gam Gamorelli. Gamorelli. I'm going to get it at some point. Uh, but let me keep scrolling through this timeline to see what we got exactly. Uh, the, 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 the savage. I do like it. it I, I kind of assumed, uh, that most of them would be pretty similar in the way they looked with the tattoos. But I, I, I like that it differs between, uh, the, the members of the herd. Like some, uh, the one that was at the gate, he had the crooked and all jagged teeth. It, it just was a, a nice touch. I like seeing that he had the ponytail. Uh, he was bulky. He had the armor on. Some of them don't wear armor. Some of them have no, or did he have a beard? Oh yeah. He had a little more like a five o'clock shadow but he had a little something um so that was cool to see uh all the differences between the bars and then you had scanlon he got a little bit i wouldn't say development but a little more shine this episode running into uh we got more people in a band their own little band uh and they know of him so his his name is ringing bells his voice is circulating the, the exandria uh so people know of him and uh, I should say not of just him. Uh, I feel like they know of everybody in the group. Uh, he's just one of them th that they relate to because they also do the music and the singing and all that. So uh, I like that. This new character, what's her name? Or actually, let me stick to the sideline, to the uh, timeline. I always jump around because I get so excited talking about these things. But uh, flashback was phenomenal. Grog attacking Pop Pop. That was a surprise. I mean, that that's really a surprise, mainly because we we we're just now getting this backstory, of course. But we just met Pop Pop like last episode, so we didn't even really have a time to formulate an opinion, at least for our us new viewers, I should say, new critters, um, like an opinion of what where he came from or uh how exactly grog knows him and I, I did comment on how much i love that they already know each other and i i guess it's cool that we got it in the very next episode exactly how they ran into it Com completely different from what i would have expected um but i like the way that that turns out now you'll have to tell me if that differs at all uh, I'm sure tell, let me know. I, I don't feel like I've asked this question, uh, at least in this season. And as far as like a one to one comparison, how accurate is this to the campaigns? Have they taken liberties? Is anything different? Uh, how do you feel about the changes? Uh, let me know about all that stuff because I'm, I'm curious. But uh, yeah, the, the origin story of their relationship uh i do like i i enjoy and i like again that a lot of these things i haven't been able to see coming so they've all been a surprise and kudos 
to you guys down in the comment section one once again keeping secrets and not spoiling me on anything uh let's keep that going we only got three more episodes for this season and talk about talk about uh so much to cover i talked about all the plot lines i said there's like 10 of them but uh i, I was hoping we would get more of other characters such as a a cash uh uh zora and all that but no re you no wonder why we won't be able to there's a lot going on a lot like i feel like green the season three has already been greenlit i feel like they need to green uh, give the green light to at least uh, season five and six just to finish up what we've built in this one with the world building and the characters and all that so uh, i love it i love it and can't wait to see more this gold the, the, no no wonder why they're running out of shit they're pillaging from the same exact city that, for i don't know how long They've delivered, I don't, several batches of gold. Uh, Thordak just wants more shiny shit, but hey, do you? Um, let me get the name of this other bard real quick. Kaylee, uh, I like her. Ace, Aisling Fren, Frenkosi, Franciosi, uh, Franciosi. I don't, I don't know who that is. I'll have to look into her to see if I know her from anything else. Um, but she was good in this episode. I enjoyed her character in the brief time that we saw her. And I, I have a feeling that obviously we saw them kind of walking away. Uh, Scanlan had split off to wherever Grog and Pike were. Um, well, Grog's f front and center. But I, I take it there'll be some type of distraction to help him out. Um, I think these this group is going to come back and help them too. Because uh, she made the comment she's used to people not coming back. And I feel like she wants to have that uh, same impression or beat that same kind of notion or stereotype. Um, and she'll come back to help them out uh, and they'll form a little alliance. I don't know how long they'll stay with her, but I feel like for this next episode, at least they'll get a helping hand from them. Uh, the whole incognito thing, Grog, uh, helping out. Uh, or sneaking in the gates with the blood on his face and Pike. I like that type of aspect. That the whole social, or not social, but stealth aspect of these episodes and the game in general. I like seeing it play out in this animation. So that's fun. Stuff like that I enjoy. Um, with with the Grog and Xanroar, I feel like, obviously, there would have been some tension. Because the last time they saw each other, he knocked them out. Um... And then Kev Dak returned the favor. But I feel like now in this moment that Xanroy has made the decision to kind of split from Kev Dak. He's had enough of his bullshit. He's still on that pillage type tip where he, he just wants to ravage and uh, be a, a, a savage. Uh, but I feel like if once he sees Grog here. He'll be able to change his, not change him, but I, I feel like there will be a team up, whether it's brief or not, at least for this fight against Kevdak. They've both had enough of his shit. And at some point, I feel like we're going to have them kind of wrestling each other to get each gauntlet off. Like uh, Grog will be holding on to one, trying to pull it off. Zanroar will be on the other, trying to pull that one off. And then Scanlan will just be punching Kevdak in the nuts and Pike will just slice his throat or something like that. Something crazy. Um, me just throwing stuff, but I, I'm looking forward to how this final battle, these final episodes, shake down, break down. Uh, let's see if we have anything else I wanted to talk to. These gauntlets I love. I love. I hate to root for a bad guy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Would, would they split them up? I, I just said they would be pulling on one. Each of them would be pulling on one themselves. Will Xanroar take one or would Grog take one or would Grog take both? I, ho I hope. Imagine Xanroar with the damn uh, blade that Grog just destroyed. That that would be crazy to think about, but let's stick on these gauntlets. Um, I wonder if he'll get both of them. That could be his new weapon because he doesn't have his accident. He doesn't have anything right now. Uh, I don't think so. He needs something. I just wonder if he'll get both. I, I look forward to that. We got we got a week. We just got a week to wait until these next batch of episodes, or actually two, because I'll be in LA, so you guys won't see that right away. Uh, but I promise I'll have them out the following week for you guys when I get back. Uh, Pike, 
I'm pretty sure. Let me. Maybe this is cheating. Yeah, see, this damn show they they being sneaky because it usually they'll have like the whoever's in that scene they'll have their you guys know how Amazon works, but the actor and their character usually it'll say Pike down here, but it just says uh, Trickfoot and Grog. Uh, and this little person of mystery, who I think is Pike, a cleric, has the same exact powers, has the same exact scar or scarf. She doesn't have the scar yet. And the same type of hair, just black instead of blonde. Same ears and all that. Uh, same height. Uh, she hasn't grown at all. But uh, I think that's Pike. And the same exact voice. Actually, I, I haven't. Let me see. Let me scroll through the timeline to see exactly where a scene with Pike. Hold on, here we go, right here, right here. Give me a little bit more, give me a little bit more. Maybe I'll have to play it. Okay, so there's that. I'm, I'm cheating a little bit, I'm looking at her eyes. They look like they're the same color. I never really paid attention before, but I think that's her. It has to be, there's no way it isn't, unless she got a twin or something, or a little sister, or older sister, I don't know. I don't know, keep scrolling through the timeline. We're wasting too much time on that rambling. Uh, I hope we get more of the band at some point. Zanmora, I enjoy Umbrasil. I, I I love his his character to, or his dragon design. The the colors. Um, I feel like this episode it really came through and popped because we saw him kind of in daytime and no um external lights like usually we have <laughs> explosions or fire uh emanating over his body so it it changes the hue of his colors but. Um, seeing his design in this episode really came through and I enjoyed that. Uh, and I, I love his eyes, how they kind of, they, like it showed the slit of his eyes looking down at Kevdak and it just looked like Godzilla. I, 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 the small details, I like stuff like that. Uh, Zan Roar on his bullshit, rebelling a little bit. And I, I need at some point in this fight when they're pulling off the gauntlets or whatever the case may be, the rest of these damn, uh, barbarians need to start doing something because every time someone's getting their ass whooped and their jaw broken uh by these gauntlets and the weak ass kev deck I, I got a feeling he weak without the gauntlets maybe i'm wrong but right now i'm gonna say he weak uh but everybody looks away and looks down at the ground because they're scared to challenge the leader um if y'all would have teamed up years ago y'all gonna be next if you don't do something so uh i don't know I don't know. Uh, I can't believe these damn cliffhangers are kicking my butt this season. Really good. That's what a cliffhanger is supposed to do, but you're killing me. You're killing me, Critical Role, but I love every second of it. I'm sure you guys are, too. Let me know how much you're fanboy and fangirl and down in the comment section. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this batch of episodes like we have after every episode. If you're new, welcome to the family. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you comment down below. Introduce yourselves. Talk to the rest of the critters in the community because uh, we have a good time. We have a great time and soon to be even a better time uh, when I drop that Discord link. I'll be doing that this week while I'm in it. LA and you guys are waiting for my next batch of episodes to uh 10 11 12 the finale so I look forward to that in this week of coming and to see your comments on these episodes and your thoughts on it and your ratings on these episodes uh so that's it I guess I'll see you in a couple weeks we'll keep in touch through discord love you guys continue to love one another I'll catch you in the next one next batch of releases deuces